Hi, I'm Peter Ray. And I'm Joe Ojo. We're from St. Mary's University in San Antonio, Texas. We'd like to talk to you today about how banks create money. Banks create money by making loans. They first must keep a required amount of cash on hand. That's called the reserve ratio. The excess reserve ratio is the other money that they may let lend out in loans. Also, the Fed influences the quantity of money that's in circulation. The Fed's main tool for controlling the, the quantity of money is the open market fund, mar open market operation. The Fed will buy securities and also sell securities. I'm going to elaborate on that a little later. Joe, would you like to give a demonstration of how banks create money? Yes. Thank you. Now about how banks actually create money. Now money isn't anything, isn't just currency that you think of as in bills and coins. It's anything with purchasing power. So let's start out with someone depositing $100,000 into Bank A. That's a direct deposit under Bank A. It's under its liabilities because it must pay it back. $100,000. And since $100,000, the reserve ratio is 10%. 10% of $100,000 is $10,000. Reserve ratio, 10000 Now, there's an excess reserve of $90,000. Now, that $90,000 isn't just going to sit in the bank. They're going to loan that out. So, so let's say someone named Joe comes and so it comes to bank A and says, I need a loan for $90,000. Of course, they're going to lend it to him. It's a loan, $90,000. That's an asset to the bank. It must be paid back. Along with that, Joe gets a direct deposit under bank A for $90,000. Obviously, if he's getting a loan, he's going to spend it. So he, maybe he buys a new house for $90,000. That builder gets $90,000 and deposits it in his bank, Bank B. He has a direct deposit for $90,000. Now Bank B has a claim to that check of $90,000. Takes out the $90,000 in Joe's direct deposit and the excess reserves. Accounting wise, Liabilities and owner's equity is equal to assets. Now, Bank B has $90,000. Reserve ratio is 10%. 9 thousand dollars for the reserve ratio. You have excess reserve, thousand dollars $81,000 isn't just going to sit there. So they're going to loan it out. So a guy comes along named Pete. He says, hey, can I get an $81,000 loan? And they're going to give it to him. P gets a direct deposit for $81,000. He wants to buy a yacht. He, he takes the $81,000, pays the yachtman. The yachtman de deposits the $81,000 in Bank C. Reserve ratio, 10%. Excess reserve, that check erases Pete's direct deposit and the excess reserve. Now we have an excess reserve in Bank C of $72,900. That's just not going to sit there. So a guy named Bob comes along. He was going to build his own golf course. He decides to pay the builders. Takes a loan, $72,900. Gets a direct deposit. Pays the builders. The builder has Bank D. Puts into Bank D. Reserve ratio, 656-100. Pays off the check, direct deposit's gone, 
That's gone. This is just an example of the mechanism that banks use to create money. The potential for $100,000 is $100,000 of reserves, which is cash on hand, $900,000 of loans of purchasing power, and both those added together is equal to the amount of direct deposits that these banks will have on hand, which is $1 million.